Well, here I am back in the shop. I got some oil seals. And I slid one on today. I've heard that a little bit of electric tape over the keyway slot will help to prevent tearing of that seal. So I greased it with some wheel bearing grease after I threw that tape on and uh, it slid right on. So now I've just got a inch and an eighth wrench that I'll sit right there and use this hammer to just tap it in place. Um, let's see, after I finished recording last night, I decided I would uh, fill that gear case with some diesel fuel that I've got laying around. And uh, so there's a little over two quarts of diesel in there. And I'm gonna fire this thing up today and drive it around. My issue is that these are actually 1054 axles, I just found out. And um, they take a special Fastenal or Woodruff RF RX key, uh, but Fastenal ha has those. So um, I ordered a set and for now, I'll probably just use a smaller set of keys um, just to keep those hubs in place and it should work just fine. So I am moments from being able to set this thing on the tires and cruise around and, uh, and flush that gear case out. Also, um, this is being set up to plow and we've got these chunks of lead and um, those two have single 3 8 holes in the center of them. So I'm gonna bolt those to the uh, um, front nose and the rest of them will be sitting in this toolbox so uh, that'll be good well it's on four tires let's see how this goes Something is going on under that belt guard and it's to the point where that won't even go down something's jammed up so before I press on that any harder I'll take this belt guard off I guess it's a good thing I have a spare belt and I'll just keep that one around for testing and tuning uh, to make sure this doesn't happen to another new one well, my issue was that the uh, belt came off this pulley here, and if that guard has any slop or slot in it, I'll probably adjust that down. But um, I did see, at looking down the grill, that the uh, pulley for the engine looks like it could go in a little bit, even the belt on the hydraulics is a little bit um, crooked so I'm gonna move that pulley in a little farther as far as I can and uh, maybe just turn the belt around for now and give it another shot 
like I said, I, I've got another new one. This uh, sucks to see that happen on a brand new belt. But um, I'm glad I'm not watching my daughter struggle in the field and this happen to her. I'd rather have this happen at home. So, after a bunch of head scratching and watching this thing run without the belt, I think I figured it out. See this pulley here uh, that I took off of Hot Wheels. I welded a second hub on it last year because um, the set screw was iffy and um, I didn't like the way that it was grabbing the, uh, the shaft. And I figured, well, one more set screw wouldn't hurt, so I tacked that, that, um, uh, that ring in place. So, when I hit the clutch or brake pedal, let's see if I can do this. About right there, the belt stops. If I go about a half inch lower, you can see that that pulley drops down. And while it's all spinning, this drops below. Well, when that happens, it's enough slack that it can just pop off. So, I believe I can take this side cover back off and adjust that um, trunnion a little bit that I have just a half inch less travel. That's all I need. And that should get to the point where that belt won't drop below that extra hub. Um, if it is giving me more fits, I will probably just change that pulley. But I like this pulley better than the other one. I'm going to try to start this thing up and show you what I mean while it's rotating. So at low RPMs, it doesn't do it too bad, but when it's at high RPMs is when it was spitting the belt. And that's because it was grabbing that and throwing it underneath. Well, I ended up just having to change that pulley and all is well. I also tweaked that little stop there. It seemed to be bent back and all is good. Um, except I broke a keyway but I've just got some temporary ones in there anyways for the time being while I wait for those uh, ones from Fastenal to arrive Monday or Tuesday. So um, I can put this back together. I can finish uh, draining the diesel fuel out of the transmission, put a seat on it, the hood all fixed up, and then work on a hitch and uh, plow for this tractor and then we're good to go well when I heard that Bob Ellison was gonna stop making seats I grabbed a 953 seat from him just just in case I have a new one so here we are a brand new seat for Rebel well they say there's a little hump in the bottom of the transmission case. So if you can lift the front end as high as you can, it drains out better. So here we are. Well, now that all that diesel fuel is drained out of the transmission, I threw some new 8090 in. I was able to get close to two quarts in by, by jacking that left side up a ways. So, uh, so now the transmission's good. The engine oil is good, um, but I just realized that it's not charging. While it's running, that generator light is on, and that light's supposed to go out. Um, so I only have like 12.8 volts at the battery while it's running. I'm trying to get through the uh, regulator manual and understand what's going on. Um, my meter is not helping, um, so I don't know what I'm going to do yet. I do have a couple other starter generator engines that do run, 
I might just swap out the whole starter generator with a regulator on top and hope for the best but I don't know what I'm doing with that part yet and um, as much as I don't want to just do some parts changing I do want to get rebel running and if I have to just grab some parts off another tractor for now that's what I'll do I also grabbed this hitch system uh, I built that hitch last year and the lift cable um, off of Hot Wheels and that's going to be the closest setup I can have so that way Riley has less uh, tune and test time and more plow time um, when I set up the um, plow for Joe my uh, my green 953 with the snowblower engine that whole setup's coming off of putt putt and I know all the heights are going to be wrong so I'd rather just get her set up as close as I can and I'll mess around with mine so that brings the list almost to an end um, <clears throat> I should probably add charging system to that list I'll probably do that under lead all right I'm going to probably have to tune this a little while but it's on and it works so the hitch is installed the lift cables in place there's a bunch of lead there's more lead there's more lead so I'm pretty sure this is weighed down pretty good um, Uncle Jim's got rear tires to mount up when we get to Wisconsin so really my only thing I've got left to do is figure out this charging issue and from what I've read if I jump uh, from the negative terminal to the F terminal which I don't know what the F terminal is yet and this light goes off that means it's charging and I think that means that the um, regulator is bad I think I don't know um, I still have to figure that part out but um, really coming together oh I don't know if you saw those or not this tractor's name is rebel it's got to have some brass knuckles <laughs>